हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पेबली सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन ऐड फेसबुक लीड्स टू गो हाई लेवल सीआरएम एंड सेंड ईमेल नोटिफिकेशन टू द लीड्स ऑटोमेटिकली सो द आइडिया हियर इज दैट यू आर अ बिजनेस ओनर एंड यू हैव क्रिएटेड अ फेसबुक पेज टू एडवर्टाइज योर बिजनेस एंड यू आर रनिंग फेसबुक लीड एड्स ऑन दैट पेज सो वेन एवर अ prospective customer or the lead clicks on those ads a facebook lead ad form will get open now you want that whenever that facebook lead ad form is filled automatically the details of the customer should be saved to your go high level crm account and a mail should be sent to your leads on their gmail account for this we need to create a connection between facebook lead ads high level crm account and gmail so that whenever the form is filled automatically the details of the customers are saved into a crm account that is a high level account and automatically a mail is sent to them so this will be helpful for converting the leads into the customers on time or even for the follow up with the customers which will ultimately promote your business so how we are going to create an integration between facebook lead ads high level crm account and gmail this we will be learning in the further steps of the video first let us check this in the real time that how this complete process works automatically so this is my facebook lead ad form named musical instrumental enquiry form okay this is my high level crm account where i have just two contacts over here and this is the gmail account of a customer so now i want that whenever this facebook lead ad form is filled automatically the details of the customer should be used and automatically a new contact should be created into your high level crm account and a mail should be sent to the customer on his gmail account so i'm just going to add the details over here let's give the full name as gary monro okay i'm just going to add the email address over here and i'm just going to add the phone number also let's click on next and submit thank you for inquiring us okay so the form has been filled now let's check the high level crm account i'm just going to refresh it okay and here we can see that a new contact is created named gary monro over here along with the phone number and the email address now let us check the gmail account of gary i'm just going to refresh the gmail account also okay and here we can find a new mail i'm just going to open this mail welcome to abx instrumental shop hello gary monro thank you for filling up the form welcome to the abx instrumental shop we are so lucky to have you if you need any support don't hesitate to reach out with the questions we would love to hear from you best regards abx instrumental shop so now here you might be wondering that i just filled the facebook lead ad form over here and automatically the details of the customers are created as a new contact here in my high level crm account and automatically the customer has received a mail also so how did i manage to do this let me tell you this has become possible just because of the automation and the integration process so in order to create an integration between facebook lead ads high level crm and gmail we are going to use a software application named pabli connect so basically pabli connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating all these software applications automatically the best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge even a non technical person can use this software application very easily so first we have to create an integration between facebook lead ads and pabli connect then pabli connect is going to capture all the details of the customer through the facebook lead ad form submission then using the details of the customer automatically a new contact will be created into your go high level crm account and a mail will be sent to your customer on their gmail account and in this way we are going to learn that how we can create an integration between facebook lead ads high level crm and gmail using pabli connect so let us learn the integration process now for this let us type p a b b l y pabli.com in our browser this is the website of pabli here we have to come to products and click on pabli connect this is the landing page of pabli connect as you are the first time user you have to click on sign up for free option you can create your own account in just 2 minutes by clicking on this option and you will get 100 task free every month as i already have an account with pabli connect i'll simply click on sign in in the all apps section come to pabli connect and click on access now this is the dashboard of pabli connect here we have to create a workflow for that come to this plus sign and click on create workflow 
Here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as add Facebook leads to go high level and send email. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want that whenever the Facebook lead ad form is filled, automatically the details of the lead should be captured. For that, open this trigger window. Here in the choose application, let us find Facebook lead ads. In the trigger event, we have to select new lead. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Authorization successful. And now the Facebook lead ads are connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my Facebook account. So make sure before creating a connection, you're logged into your Facebook account. Now here you have to select your Facebook page name. So I have already created a Facebook page named ABX Instrumental Shop. Okay, and on this particular page, I am running the Facebook lead ads. So I am selecting this particular page here in Pabli Connect. Let us find the same page that is ABX Instrumental Shop. Now here we have to select the lead ad form. So I have already created some forms over here. I am selecting this particular form that is Musical Instruments Enquiry Form. Here you have to select your lead ad form. Now before clicking on Save and Send Test Request, first we have to do a test submission. It means we have to fill up the uh, Facebook lead ad form. So I'll just take you to my Facebook lead ad form. This is the musical instrumental enquiry form. Okay. So I'm just going to give the full name over here. The full name as Shikha Arya. I'm adding the email address over here. Shikha Arya 25 at gmail.com. And let's add the phone number or the mobile number. Let's click on next. And submit. Okay, thank you for inquiring us. The form has been filled. Now let's move back to Public Connect and now we are going to click on Save and Send Test Request. Okay, and here we can find the responses received. Here we can find all the details of the customer like full name, email address and the phone number. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in fetching the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the data will surely arrive, okay. Now here we can see that the full name is captured all together, that is the first name and the last name, okay. But uh, for entering the data into the high level, we need the first name and the last name separately. So I am just going to separate the first name and the last name for, from this full name. For that, come to this action window, here in the choose application, let us find text formatter. In the action event, we have to select split text, click on connect. Now here we have to map the text which needs to be splitted. So I am just mapping the uh, full name of the customer that is Shikha Arya. Here we have to give the separator. So let us uh, read the instructions. Enter the character, special characters are allowed or word separator to split the text on. For space as a separator, use this particular option. So I am just going to copy it from here. Okay, and I'm just giving the separator over here, the same one. And the segment index as all over here. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can find the first name and the last name separately. So now we want the, that using the details of the customer, automatically a new contact should be created into your high level CRM account. For that, come to this plus sign and click on add action step. Here in the choose application, let us find go high level or high level. In the action event, we have to select create contact. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the token. So let us read the instructions. To get the location API, the bearer token, log into your high level account, go to settings, then go to company and then you can find the API key. So I'll just take you to my Go High Level account. So this is the dashboard of Go High Level account. Here when we scroll down, at last we can find the settings option. Click on settings 
and here we can find the company data scroll down here we can find the api key so if you want to regenerate the api key by clicking over here a new key can be generated or i'll just simply copy this key from here we'll go back to public connect and i'll be pasting the same key or the token over here and let's click on save Okay, now the high level account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to give the details of the customer like first name, last name, full name. So we have already got all these details over here from the Facebook lead ad form submission. So we are going to map all these details now. I'm just going to map it one by one. Okay, let us map the first name. We have uh, split the name from the text formatter. So the first name is Shikha. Last name we have to again map it from text formatter. And the last name was Arya. Okay. Here we have to map the full name. So let us map it from Facebook lead ad form submission data. So the full name is Shika Arya. Here we have to map the email address. So we can find the email address from Facebook lead ads. And this was the email address. We don't have the address details and other details. We are just leaving it as blank. Here we have to map the phone number. Let us map the phone number. Okay. Here we don't have the state, tax, details. If you have all these details, you can map or you can enter it over here. Okay. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. It means a new contact is created in our uh, high level account. So I'm just going to my high level account. Here I'll just move to the contacts section. Click on contacts smart list. Okay, and here we can find a new customer named Shika Arya along with the phone number and the email address. So now we want to send an email to this particular customer. For that, come to Pabli Connect, scroll down and here we have to click on this plus sign, add action step. Here we have to choose the application name as Gmail. In the action event, we have to select send email, click on connect. Click on add new connection. Click on connect with Gmail. Now here we have to choose an account. From which account we want to send the mails. So I am just going to select one of the accounts from here. Pabli Connect wants additional access to your Google account. Okay, so let us click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful. Okay, and now the Gmail account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to map the recipient email address who is going to receive this particular mail. So we have to map the recipient email address that is the customer email address. And this was the customer email address. If you want to map CC and BCC email addresses, you can map it over here. If you want to give the sender name, you can give the sender name also over here. Here we have to map the email subject. So I'm just adding the email subject manually over here that will come to ABX instrumental shop. Okay. Let's scroll down here. We can uh, map the reply to email address here. We have to select the email content type. So I'm selecting it as plain content. Okay. Here we have to give the email content. What is the message you want to send through the email? So I'm just adding the email content manually over here. So I have added the email content over here. Hello. Thank you for filling up the form. Welcome to ABX Instrumental Shop. We are so lucky to have you. If you need any support, don't hesitate to reach out with the questions. We would love, love to hear from you. Best regards, ABX Instrumental Shop. So I have drafted a simple message over here. And after hello, I'll just uh, map the name of the customer. Okay. So we have to map the name from Facebook lead ads. Okay. I'll just select it over here. Yes. And the name was Shikha Arya. So in this way, the email will be delivered to the customer. Okay. Now, if you want to send some company brochures, company profile or any other attachments, you can give the attachments over here. You can map the URL and along with that, you can give the attachments file name over here. I'm just leaving uh, these details as blank. Okay. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. It means a mail has been sent to the uh, new customer named Shikharya. So let us check the Gmail account. Okay, and here we can find a new mail. Hello, Shikha Arya. Thank you for filling up the form. And here we can find all the details that we have given in the message. Okay, so in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. So let's move back to Public Connect. 
Okay, and let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay, so now we want to check this in the real time whether our integration is working fine or not. For that, we have to go to the lead ad form once again and we have to fill in the details. So I'll just take you to my Facebook lead ad form. Here I have already filled the details. I have given the full name as Ran Glasgow. Here I have given the email address and I have added the phone number. Let's click on next and submit. Okay, thank you for inquiring us. Here we can see that the form has been filled. First, let us check our high level CRM account. I'm just going to refresh it. And here, even after refreshing, we can't find the customer details just because I have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So let's wait for some time. So it's almost five to six minutes. I'm just going to refresh it once again. Okay, and here we can see that a new customer is added over here, a new contact details of Rand Glasgow. Here we can find the phone number as well as the email address. And now we have to check the email address of this particular customer. So I'll just take you to the Gmail account. I'm just going to refresh it also. Okay, and here we can find a new email. I'm just going to open this. Here we can find the message as hello, Ryan Glasgow. Thank you for filling up the form. Welcome to ABX Instrumental Shop. We are so lucky to have you. If you need any support, don't hesitate to reach out with the questions. We would love to hear you from you. Best regards, ABX Instrumental Shop. Okay, so here we can see that the customer is added to our uh, high-level CRM account also. And even a mail is sent to the customer on his Gmail account. And in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to Pabli Connect. And I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Facebook lead ads and Pabli Connect. Then Pabli Connect has captured all the details of the customer through the Facebook lead ad form submission. Then we have used text formatter by Pabli just because we have got the full name of the customer altogether. But for entering the data into high level, uh, we need the first name and the last name separately. So we have splitted the text. Then using the details of the customer, automatically a new contact is created into your high level CRM account and even a mail is sent to the customer. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Facebook lead ads, high level CRM and Gmail using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can connect us to this Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video and this video are helpful for you, then please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.